Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the sixth video of the DIP series. This is Anushree and today we're going to learn about arithmetic operations between images. So what are arithmetic operations? These are array operations which are carried out between corresponding pixel pairs. The four arithmetic operations are denoted as follows. So basically we have addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and all of these happen between corresponding pixel pairs. Now before we move ahead with the examples, uh, there are a few important points to be noted. The first one is that if we get a result which is a floating point number, then we need to round off its value. Second point is that if the result is above the pixel range, select the maximum range value. So we usually have pixel ranges between 0 to 255, if it is an 8-bit grayscale image. So if the result is above 255, then we just take this value 255. If the result is below this pixel range, then we just select the minimum range value, which is 0. If the result is infinity, then we just take the answer as 0. Now let's move ahead with the questions. Now the first one is addition. We have two images here or two matrices. We can call them as A and B. Now for addition, we just do simple uh, pixel addition. That is 0 plus 10, which is 10. 100 plus 100 is 200. Now 200 is below the range, that is it is between the range of 0 to 255. So we will just write it as it is. 10 plus 5, 15, 4 plus 2, 6, 0 plus 0, 10 plus 0, 10, 8 plus 0, 8, 10 and 15. So this was just the simple addition between these two images. Now the uses of addition are addition of noisy images for noise reduction. So usually for noise reduction, what is done is uh, a noise, noisy image is added to a noiseless image. And then many such images are added and then they are averaged out so that the standard deviation of those images gives the uh, the normal image. The next application is image averaging in the field of astronomy. Next is subtraction. So for subtraction what is done is let's do the simple subtraction 0 minus 10. Now this will give a negative value. So what was the rule? The rule was if the value is below 0 then we we'll just take the value as 0. So 0 minus 10 is minus 10, which is below this range. That's why we we'll just take the value as 0. 100 minus 100, 0. 10 minus 5, 5. 4 minus 2, 2. 0 minus 0, 0. 10 minus 0, 10. 8 minus 0, 8. 0 minus 10, again this value is minus 10, which is below this range. We just take it as 0. 5 minus 10 minus 5, which is again below this range. So we'll just take it as 0. So this is our matrix or the new image which is formed. Now the uses of subtraction. It is used in image enhan enhancement of differences between images and for mask mode radiography in medical imaging. Next is multiplication. So in multiplication, we will just do the simple pixel multiplication. 0 into 10 is 0. 100 into 100. Now this value is 10,000, which is not in this range. It is greater than this value. So that's why we we'll just write it as 255. 10 into 5, 50. 4 into 2, 8. 0 into 0, 0. 10 into 0, 0. 8 into 0, 0. 0 into 10, 0. 
and 5 into 10 50 so this is our new matrix for the new image the uses of multiplication are shading correction and masking or region of interest operations so this masking is also known as region of interest operations next is division now this is again easy if we divide these two images then 0 by 10 is 0 100 by 100 is 1 10 by 5 is 2 4 by 2 is 2 0 by 0 is 0 10 by 0 is 0 now how is how is this 0 by 0 0 that's because in the initial rules we had stated that if the value is infinity or if it is undefined then we just write it as 0 so that's why in this case also 0 by 0 we have taken it as 0 and even in this case 10 by 0 we have taken it as 0 8 by 0 is again undefined we write it as 0 0 by 10 0 now 5 by 10 5 by 10 comes out to be 0.5 now 0.5 is a floating point number so we just round it off 0.5 we round it off it will become 0 so this is the new image now a use of division is shading correction so as multiplication was also used for shading correction Similarly, division is also used for shading correction. So you might have learned in your digital logic and design about the different logical operations which are AND, OR, NOT, XOR, etc. So when applying on digital images, we mainly apply three kinds of operations which are AND, OR and NOT. So moving ahead with the first operation here, this is the truth table for AND operation. If we have A and B as the inputs, then Y is the output. Now, when applying on images, as you might already know, we apply the operation pixel by pixel. Okay, so now we will try to solve this example here with the help of this truth table. If the inputs are 0 and 0, the output is 0. If the inputs are 0 and 1, or 1 and 0 then the outputs are again 0 but if both the inputs are 1 then the output is 1 so using this truth table to solve this example here we have the inputs 1 and 0 so 1 and 0 the output would be 0 1 and 1 the output would be 1 0 and 0 output would be 0 0 and 1 0 0 and 1, 0. 1 and 0, 0. 1 and 0 again, 0. 0 and 0 is 0. 1 and 1 is 1. So using this truth table, we can solve this example here. In most of the cases, the answer is 0. But only when both the inputs are 1, that is when the output is 1. The next operation is OR operation and this is the truth table for it. Now when both the inputs are zeros, that is the only case when the output would be 0. Otherwise in all the three cases, the output would be 1. So if we try to solve the same example with the help of this truth table using OR operation, then we look at each of the pixel pairs. Here 1, 0, the answer would be 1. 1 1 output would be 1 0 0 output would be 0 0 1 1 0 1 again 1 1 0 1 1 0 again 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 so in this way we get the output as follows Next is NOT operation. Now this operation is only performed on a single image. 
okay it's not performed between two images just on a single image this is the truth table if the input is 0 then the output is 1 if the input is 1 the output is 0 so it is uh, inverse of each other now if we take our answer here not operation of 1 would be 0 not operation of 1 would be 0 again 1 1 1 0 0 1 and 0 so in this way this would be just the inverse of this so that's it for this lecture i'll see you in the next one